Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Neil Orsinski. I appreciate you watching. So, um, I just had these, uh, get the box up here, these uh, Proline uh, uh, Prospex Scalar Shocks. Um, I've, I've been wanting to try these and put them on the uh, on the PJ here for a while. So finally got around to doing that, and uh, I took the uh, uh, the desert lizards that were on that, and I put them on the uh, on the Franken rig that I'm working on here. So uh, these were pretty, uh, these were nice and s s s smooth and s s slow, very d d deliberate. So. Uh, so so when you're on the rocks, and they're kind of set up for a heavier rig like like this one is, that EJ uh, right there weighs just under 10 pounds. So um, that's why I have those desert lizards set up like that. But uh, um, I just put them on here just to try them and see what they're going to do and how they're going to look. And making a few more ch changes on uh, this guy, getting it more s s squared away. Uh, nothing really major to, uh, I just put in a different servo, I took out all the electronics because I'm moving everything around, put a different uh, bumper on the front, uh, some more um, stabilizing braces in the rear. Uh, anyway, but uh, that's coming along and uh, uh, I put the uh, heavier sh sh shocks on uh, on those there, but I still think they're a little light. Uh, these ones here, the the other set that came with it are a two stage. Um, the black spring is really light, and then this is kind of heavy, so they it ends up being a lighter s s s spring than what's on there. But uh, and then I have thirty weight, uh, just thirty weight Traxxas shock oil in there. Focus on there. I don't know if it's got focus or not. But uh, we're gonna go out and give it a quick run in the yard. Uh, I don't think it's gonna crawl a whole lot, but we'll do just a little trail run and uh, see how it does.